Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our Divine Feminines, alright? So if you in any way at all identify as a DF Divine Feminine, then this reading is for you. I almost wanted to say or DM. I feel like this is going to be for both, okay? So scratch that opening. This is going to be... For the 2020 twins, all uh, right, because I feel like Divine Masculine wants some information from me, okay? They want some information on you, okay? So this is going to be for both. If you are a DF Divine Feminine or a DM Divine Masculine, then this reading is for you. I like how they just charged on in here into the reading. I usually say, you know, so if you are a DM, this is not for you. No, they said, actually, it is for us today. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh alrighty then uh i don't really know what to say it sounds like a man a man <laughs> like yes sir all right look <laughs> let us see what the messages are <laughs> for the twins <laughs> for the twins there what are the messages I'm like, blue, you a mess. I'm just saying. It's a man. They came in the room and said, actually, what I'm supposed to say. I'm just saying. I'm like, yes, sir. So we have roller coaster. Okay. High is high. Adrenaline rush. All right. What else do we have here? We have nightlife. Gamble. Take a risk. Vegas. Ooh. Insatiable. Okay. Unquenchable. Wanting more. Divine feminine. Mmm. Gossip, we have petty, jealousy, envy, we have intervention, okay, rescue others involved, underlying it so far is anxiety, somebody is anxious, someone is anxious, and I feel that energy passing all through this reading, okay, this person has some things that maybe they would like to say, maybe they are feeling a little bit jealous right now of anybody that gets to be around their feminine and the reason they feel like this is because they want more maybe this is why masculine charged into this reading because notice it was not for the masculines so i'm not going to sit here and say put yourself whichever side you go obviously this is how masculine is feeling and we have a masculine that doesn't oh wow <laughs> i'm listening to drake in my ears and he just said how you feel about so yeah this is clearly how they feel <laughs> They want to tell you something, okay? Period. They feel some type of way right now. Um, yeah, we got on a table. Offer, proposal, commitment, okay? Karmic, ooh, okay? Anxiety here, again. Love affair, okay? So I'm seeing it very clearly. I'm seeing it. So in the event that this person was dealing with a karmic, okay? They had some sort of third-party situation going on. You guys just kind of fell back, okay? Now, this may typically be someone that when they're dealing with someone, they're dealing with someone. That may be the case. However, because Divine Feminine is involved, oh, no, they don't like that. They may do things that are kind of petty. They may do things out of jealousy. They may do things because they're envious. What exactly are they envious of? Again, anybody that gets to spend time with you, anybody that gets to be with you, and they don't. Now, granted, you may hear this and say, oh, well, that's low vibrational, they're human, they're feeling an emotion, okay? And now you know why they're feeling it. Mm -hmm. Some of them are feeling this way because they did not or will not get the opportunity to make this offer to you. Your hand is what's up. Notice how she's holding her hand here, okay? Notice what typically goes on this hand, okay? So this is an offer that is somewhere else, maybe? You get what I'm saying? Maybe someone else made the offer to you. Um, again, it's a reason why this person is charging into my reading. Let us see. We have entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. So this person got themselves caught up. That's why we see them in this little ditch here. Okay. So someone feels like they've gotten themselves into a ditch that they cannot get out of. All right. Um, they may also feel like karmic knows about you. Karmic may be gossiping. Karmic may be talking. Okay, 
we have the love affair energy here dirty little secret down low i don't think that's something you're interested in because we have the trash card discarding and throwing out yeah so again i see why this person is charging into my reading all right agreement compromise they want you to agree to something you're not going to agree to okay um again not going to be everybody's reading but the reason is because they love you they adore you they admire you enchantment oh yeah honey they're not going nowhere they don't even want to go nowhere they want to offer you a long-term relationship again though some of them have other things going on so until those lessons are completed what can they truly offer you a lot of you have started looking into other options or keeping your options open you're not worried about being on the, uh the plate as the mashed potatoes honey yeah we have crickets it's silence on that non-action okay you're not interested in being the cold mashed potatoes i mean by the time you get to the mashed potatoes they i mean <laughs> Who wants the cold ass mashed potatoes? Nobody. So yeah, we have grip, okay? Anchor chains weighed down. That's the thing. Who wants cold mashed potatoes? <clears throat> you eating cold mashed potatoes? Cause I'm not eating no damn cold mashed potatoes. I keep telling y'all this. You get what I'm saying? So again, if I know I wouldn't even be interested in something like that, why would I even, you know what I'm saying? You put yourself in that position and that's all they going to ever give you. That's all you're going to ever be. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, we have receipts, proof, show me. Some of you are like, okay, where's the proof? You know what I mean? You say you love me, you say you want me. Okay, where's the proof? Like, that's the thing. Okay, so we have soul. We have moving, physical, location change. A lot of them want you closer. Okay, a lot of them feel like if you were closer, that's a different story because we have two or more people, discussions, planning. Again, some of you live in different countries from your person. Okay, there are so many different reasons as to why you're not in union. Okay, however, let us see more about this situation. We have Archangel Michael, yeah, cleansing. So until this person makes the necessary space for you, child. Okay, no, it's not an option. Pretty much. Okay, I picked Archangel Michael up. So yeah, in the next few days, weeks, and months, this person is going to express emotions to you. The problem is not the emotions. The problem is a lot of you feel like when it comes to your twin flame, there's a lot of recalling, there's a lot of reminiscing, memories, different things like that that come back. However, it leads to this. person is desiring you, they're yearning for you. So they have a lot of love and they have a lot of desire. They're yearning for you, but yearning for you is one thing. Actually doing something is another. So they're getting signs everywhere that they need to do something. We have some wanting to, again, compromise. You have bounty hunters. Somebody about to be chasing after you here, okay? So I hope you're ready for this, okay? I hope you're ready for this, um, feminine. And again, if you're a masculine that's like, no, that ain't me, that ain't Kate, then this ain't your reading, bro. Yeah, we have irreconcilable differences, okay? Somebody knows they need to separate from somebody because, again, they feel obsessed with their feminine. They're like, listen, I got to have it. Need to have my feminine. Gots to have my feminine. Will have my feminine. Determined to be with my feminine, okay? So that's where they're at. Spirit's like, oh, yeah? Well, you need to cleanse that negative energy about your space, okay? Because you already know how God feels about gossip. So the fact that they're dealing with someone that is gossiping about you i mean you y'all ever heard that line i can't think of it verbatim right now but it's like stop talking about me to your man because now he's more impressed you get what i'm saying stop talking about me to him because now he wants me more stop gossiping about me stop talking about women like me because when you talk about that or you joke about that you're just making him think of me even more you get what i'm saying that's the woman he over here thinking about when you talking about it. You gossiping. Now you just putting me in his energy even more. Thank you. You get what I'm saying? It's that type of thing. It's nothing that they could do, say, or anything that's going to stop this person from feeling about you the way they feel about you. That's not going to stop anything. Okay? So let us see what we got going on here. Because that's kind of how we can look at it. This person is sitting here looking all scrawny like they can't get out of these damn wires when all they got to do is bust out. Then we look at grip. The person is literally busting out. You get what I'm saying? So I don't care. You go ahead and think this person won't do it if you want to, karmic. You get what I'm saying? But they're not a karmic masculine. They're a divine masculine. They have a lot of power that you may not know they have, shorty do up. You get what I'm saying? Don't play yourself trying to play feminine. You know, don't play yourself trying to play masculine because the only one going to get played is the karmic. That's what I'm seeing. We have settlement here, agreement, compromise. Okay. Yeah. 
So ultimately, it looks like you will end up working with this person, depending on how they go about moving, honestly. That's what it looks like. Yeah, we got a negotiator. You'll negotiate depending on how they go about moving. That's the thing. Yeah, we have access granted. You see that? We, first, we start off with the house. <laughs> the key right here, right? Then we have the um, Allen key. Not the Allen key. Skeleton key. Okay? So, it's like, person is clearly going to be able to get in. They have the master key. They, they're able to get into your door. Or they're able to get into your heart. They're able to get into something. <laughs> something. All right, so it's all about how they move. Yeah, this person cannot stop thinking about this here. Okay, so yeah, look, they unconditionally love you. You unconditionally love them. So this is what this person is doing, trying to retaliate. Girl, bye. All right, we have long-term relationship. Okay, yeah, wholeness, overjoyed, and smiling. You guys make each other happy. So Archangel Michael is wanting you to know, again, protection prevented from harm, divine intervention. Right here, they're praying for intervention. Spirit steps in. What do you mean? So what they're going to retaliate against spirit? I keep asking this. Who, who are the karmics retaliating against? Spirit? I mean, you do it to yourself. When you, can, when, candle, <laughs> when you carry yourself a certain way, they could be burning candles. They could have been doing spell work and rituals this entire time to try to keep the twins apart. It's not working, so I guess they're upset. Who are you upset with, though? That's what I'm saying. You upset with masculine or you upset with yourself? You upset with feminine or you upset with yourself? Because from what we can see, Feminine was not even doing nothing. Feminine was minding her damn business. <laughs> okay? Feminine was minding her business. So let us see what's going on here. <clears throat> I'm going to read them and put it on whichever side I feel the energy is on. Because remember, this is for both. Ultimately, Masculine wanted to take over the reading and be a part of it. So let us see. Yeah, it says, I'm so proud of who you have become. That's the line, y'all. It just came into my head. It says, and B, stop talking about me to your man because that only makes him more intrigued. That's what it said. But it says, I'm so proud of who you have become. They're proud of you, okay, and how empowered you are. You don't back down from anything or anyone, okay? It's not something you do. We have my loneliness is killing me when you're not around. That's the thing. This person is around them, but they're still lonely. And you're worried about other people? You worry about the wrong things, girl. It says, I wanted to tell you so many times already how much I miss you. Okay. Let us see. Mm -mm. Person is missing you dearly. I can't stop thinking about your beauty. Yikes. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> they love you. Genuinely, certainly, for sure. It's a mutual energy between you two that cannot be denied. That cannot be um imitated emulated uh forced um faked um none of that okay we're just gonna go with that copied <laughs> whatever you would like to say rendered i mean someone could attempt it's just not gonna work it says i fell in love with you the moment we connected do you see what i'm saying it's a connection that is um mm, unmistaken it's not something you're making up and you only understand it if you're a true twin. Sorry. Not sorry. It says, I will come back towards you when the time is right. You see what I'm saying? They're determined, period. Underline the energy, I crave to be close by your side. So it's like, yeah, play with someone else. You know, be mad at someone else, like yourself, for burning candles or doing whatever the hell it is that you over there doing. You get what I'm saying? Like, paying other people to burn candles. There's something about it here that is going on with that candle thing. Mm, yeah, we got judgment and we have four wands. Somebody has woken up to this fact that they want to be with their person. Okay, so whether that's them, whether that's you, put yourself whichever side you go. Because again, someone has been trying to get you to compromise and you wouldn't. Now that you are, what do you think they're going to do? Okay, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so we have the nine of pentacles and we have the king of swords. Someone is, <laughs> someone, the masculine is thinking about you. <laughs> He said, who's someone? Let's be very specific. I told you, I really like this person's energy. They're coming through like, this is how I feel. Stop playing. You know how I feel. You don't know how I feel? Let me remind you how I feel. That's this person's energy this morning. they like, play with who? I'm not playing with you. <laughs> this person is so direct. And when I tell you I love it, it's the king of swords. That's why I love it. There's... <laughs> Other people may look at them and be like, I don't like dude, you know, dude too 
arrogant, dude too cocky, dude, he know everything, he think he know everything, dude might do know everything. Mm. <laughs> His energy is like that, like he's well studied, well versed, well spoken, you know, um, this is someone who enjoys to read or who enjoys to learn or who enjoys to figure out how things work or how to make things properly flow. So yeah, they know a lot and it's not to say they know everything, but as an emperor, you done been every king. You done been the king of swords, the king of pentacles, the king of wands, the king of cups. You are all of that. So you have mastered each of those levels. You get what I'm saying? Each of those suits, each of those skills or whatever that's necessary to become this emperor. Nine of Pentacles is single, independent, on your own. So again, someone is separating themselves. Now remember, a uh, divorce um, does not start when you are divorced. A divorce starts way before that. A divorce starts when you start going through a roller coaster, up and down, back and forth, feeling like you have to explain yourself to somebody. Oh, I have to constantly translate my soul to someone. With your twin flame, you do not have to translate your soul because you share one. This person knows exactly what you like, exactly what to do, you know, exactly how to make you feel better. It's not to say there's not things to learn about you. It's just to say when you pay attention to someone or you genuinely love someone, some things just come naturally. Again, it's not something you should have to force. You don't know how to make your person smile. You don't know what to say to them when they've had a rough day. You don't know what to do when they just feel like being alone. You get what I'm saying? You can't read that energy. You know, you can't tell when they're needing some connection or when they're needing some tail, <laughs> you know, like there's different things to it. Right. So let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Y'all, this person is like just over it at this point. And again, these are not things that can be forced, that can be faked. You know, I mean, they can try. The karmics are always going to try, but it's not going to last long. They're going to do the right thing for like a week. And then after that, it's going to be like, God damn, you know, all over again. So. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles. This person felt blocked out, iced out from you. All right. The three of wands is delays. Okay. This person could have felt like they kept delaying things or you could have felt like they kept delaying things. They kept putting things off. Five of cups. This is something from the past though. This person is like, listen, that's past energy. That's previous energy. Moving forward, seven of pentacles. I have invested wisely. This person feels like they are going to make the necessary investments or they already have been into the connection. Okay. This could be something that's been going on for seven years or more, nine years here with the Nine of Pentacles, okay, for some of you, or something significant about year nine in your connection. Eight is here. So, yeah, like I said, seven, eight, nine, somewhere around there, okay. We have Five of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, so you know this already. You know when, you know, um, this person is in their cave, if you will, thinking. Okay, you know what they're thinking about because we have the world card. The world card is an ending. Like I said, it's something that needs to end first. Okay, either you're in your cave and they've been wondering because they feel iced out and they're like, what's going on? Why is this person pulling away from me? You're pulling away because you know there's some things you need to do or vice versa. Okay, put yourself whichever side you go with these. Okay, yeah. Yep, the Knight of Swords is knowing exactly what needs to be done and getting it done. Once you do it, Eight of Wands, rapid progress. You see things taking off really, really quick. You also have a very open, honest conversation with one another. The Wheel of Fortune, once this happens, things turn in your favor. Things go the way that you always wanted them to. Okay, again, with the key. Look at here. Again. Okay. So it's something about that. Yeah, King of Cups. Okay. This person loves you deep, 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 deep. They may love you so much. Um more than you even know is what i'm hearing okay yeah seven of swords they don't tell you how much they love you they no they keep that to themselves you make them feel like a kid again you make them feel very youthful okay that's what i just heard you make them feel very youthful yeah we have the chariot in all the best of ways okay the lovers all oh, so they just really want to move forward with you honestly that's what they want and anything that is stopping them from doing this they're going to remove Okay, it doesn't matter how they got to go about doing it. They're just going out on blind faith here and trusting their hearts. 
because they know that they want this with you. They want this relationship. Nine of Cups, this is their heart's desire. This is their wish fulfillment. You, they view you as someone that's very stable and secure within yourself. I mean, this Queen of Pentacles is definitely giving divine feminine. Look at the way that this Queen of Pentacles is sitting here. Wow, King of Pentacles. You guys are a match. They feel like they can depend on you and trust you, and they want you to know you can depend on them and trust them in the exact same way. This is what they want. Um, these are like parents. You know what I'm saying? These are head of household energy. They take care of home. It's home, okay? They don't want you to emotionally withdraw or back away because of whatever the outside interference is, Empress. Look, Queen of Swords, again, with the match, okay? Emperor and Empress. Yeah, you're every queen. They're every king, okay? This is why they feel the way they feel. This is why they want to be with you, okay? Why have the fake when I can have the real thing? It doesn't make any sense. So that's where they're coming from. We have the hermit, okay? Yeah, the two of wands. Why would I do that to myself? That's so weird. That's how this emperor is feeling, okay? The nine of swords. That's that anxiety, panic. Some of them may really be feeling like they be having panic attacks or anxiety attacks or there's something going on. They don't know what's going on. This is what's going on. This is how you're feeling right now. Okay, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is marriage. Okay, again, the tower. So here's Archangel Michael in that tower. Here's that irreconcilable differences and the divine intervention. They need to get a plan together because Ten of Swords is going to be an abrupt ending to something. Okay, so somebody needs to get a plan together and fast. All right. We have, yeah, the three of swords, the four of wands. Somebody's going to be brokenhearted because they're ending a burden, a burdensome situation to come towards their four of wands. But like I said, the brokenhearted person is not going to be you. It's not going to be them. It's going to be that person that was sitting up there laughing. So it's like you and Divine Masculine get the last laugh. It's like, who's laughing now? <laughs> Who the fuck is laughing now? You know, it's that type of energy. Mm, child. I cannot. Yeah, it says intense, all right? It says the intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows, okay? Mm, I feel like my newbie was just your apprentice, and we just got into it. Here comes the ending. You said that shit would happen, girl. That was your prediction. Said I never find no one like you, and I should have listened. Mm. Who you fucking with now? Is that any of my business? Girl, go to your auntie home. Mm -hmm. The channel music, the music that's on, all of it. All of it got to go to his auntie's house. It says, honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger. Okay, dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. I'm so hungry. <laughs> we have your spiritual journey is beginning okay Ooh. admire it's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner okay and connection your connection is eternal and unbreakable all right so i would pull from the dear empress deck considering this was supposed to be a divine feminine reading and then masculine just kind of took over i feel like i still could however since it is for both technically i just do them next time so if this, <laughs> if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and hair grease